We humans tend to believe that complex emotions like grief or gratitude are reserved for mammals and other cognitively complex vertebrates. But a new study by Pascal Fossa and colleagues shows that prolonged stress can make crayfish, the freshwater crustaceans that look like little lobsters, full of anxiety. And if anxious crayfish aren't enough for you, the researchers also show that a drug known as chlordiazepoxide, or CDZ, which is used to treat anxiety in humans, can also calm the crustaceans down. To reach these conclusions, the researchers filled a plus-shaped tank with water. Two arms of the tank were well-lit, and the other two were left dark. Fossa and his team knew that normal crayfish preferred dark places, but that the crustaceans would also explore the lighted arms of the tank. And that's exactly what the crayfish did when they were left to their own devices. But when the researchers moved their crayfish to a new environment and used mild but repetitive electric shocks to stress the crustaceans out, they found that these stressed crayfish behaved differently when they were put back in the plus-shaped tank. Even in this new environment, with no electric shocks, the stressed crayfish behaved anxiously. They rarely entered into the lighted arms of the tank, and when they did dare to, the crayfish certainly didn't spend much time there. Fossa and the other researchers say that the animal's light avoidance was caused by increased levels of serotonin in their brains, and they discovered that they could make crayfish anxious just by injecting them with some of this neurotransmitter. On top of that, the researchers found that CDZ, the anti-anxiety drug for humans, could relieve the crayfish of their anxiety, allowing them to explore the lighter areas of the tank without getting so scared. Taken together, these results suggest that crayfish maintain some primitive form of anxiety that probably shares some evolutionary origins with more cognitively advanced species like humans. After all, we probably wouldn't have made it this far as a species if our distant ancestors hadn't been a little anxious of their surroundings every now and then.